It's a presentation by uh, Professor Amara Imene from the University of Badi Mokhtar Anaba in Algeria. And it's entitled Expostulating Against Inequities Through the Poetry of Protest, a special reference to Maya Angelou's poem, Caged Bird. So I'm going to share my screen. Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Iman Amara, an assistant teacher at the Faculty of Letters and... Sorry, can you hear it? Yeah, it is yes. okay, yeah. Languages Annaba, Algeria. First of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to contribute in this interesting conference. My contribution, entitled Expostulating Against Inequities Through the Poetry of Protest, a special reference to Maya Angelou's poem Caged Bird, centers upon the poetry of protest as a distinctive literary form that entails the use of creative tools and techniques in writing in order to unearth the intricate, repulsive human conditions and thus thread the path to expostulate against inequities and call for justice. The paper, hence, examines critically Maya The main points focused on in the present paper are the key aspects, concerns and tools of protest poetry, African-American protest poetry, Maya Angelou as a notable voice in the poetry of protest. Then, the main focus will be delving into Caged Bird as a manifestation of oppression and voicing protest against oppressions and injustice. Writers have perpetually employed literature in all its genres to reflect the nuanced intricacies of reality, and protest literature, in particular, has served to potently evocate expostulations against deep-seated social, political, and economic inequities throughout human history. As much as prose, poetry has revealed itself to be a paramount weapon that generally articulates human concerns to lay bare the complexities of their society's issues. So, poetry is often used by poets to protest against the lingering inequities in order to promote change. Within the context of post-colonial literature, poets of protest shed light on the common struggles to counter deep-rooted inequalities through implanting this sense of defiance in their poems. As one of the preeminent voices of African-American protest poetry, Maya Angelou artfully embodies this notion of protest against the shackles of a harsh, intolerant white society in her poem, Caged Bird. Indeed, protest poetry has its distinctive tools and aspects to reflect protest. It's true that poetry is tantamount to any other artistic form in that it is a reflection of both personal and collective concerns as it echoes the artist's own ideals as well as the values of the addressed audience. Yet, poetry is a distinctive literary form that involves the use of creative tools in writing. One of its prime unique features is that it is utilitarian in revealing intricate emotions and experiences effectually. Poets frequently manage to achieve this by employing picturesque imagery, metaphor and symbolism to elicit powerful pictures and emotions in their audience and thus defy the status quo. Poetry has then revealed itself as an effective means to embody the nuances of the oppressed concerns, resistance and challenge of inequitable conditions. In reflecting protest, Poets reveal their own knowledge of what they see as unfair, ill or wrong, their discontent and eventual denunciation of certain unacceptable life conditions. Thus, they use these tools so that to arouse feelings of distaste, indignation, scorn, contempt and even hatred for some state of affairs, some aspect of the society in which he finds himself. 
Within the context of post-colonial literature, the poetry of protest permits to go beyond the constraints of historical silencing that has been long imposed on the colonized. By subverting dominant and just discourses through protest, poetry acts as an instrumental medium that claims social activism and defies the unjust established quo. So it aims to foreground the common vicissitudes of oppressed people and simultaneously incubate solidarity among them. In this way, poets can endorse a sense of community among people who have common concerns and akin values and beliefs. Therefore, protest poetry serves as the mental rattle that awakens the attention of intellect in the infancy of civil society. To this end, the poetic form allows experimentation with structure, language, and form to produce phenomenal and cogent poems that reflect the main purpose behind the poet's writings, which is protest. African-American protest poetry refers basically to the body of poetry produced by Afro-American poets seeking to both pinpointing and also defying the miscellaneous forms of injustices pertinent to race, color, and gender. It arose along with fiction and drama to confront the blacks' predicaments and to epitomize their perpetual struggle to unravel their discrimination and oppression. Accordingly, its occurrence purported essentially to effectuate redress to the secondary status of black people, of attempting to achieve the acceptance of black people into the larger American body, of encouraging practitioners of democracy truly to live up to what democratic ideals on American soil mean. Hence, poetry served as an appropriate tool to effectively embody African Americans' descent as it had the potential to circumscribe blacks' concealed issues, which were diversified according to the prominent thematic preoccupations of the period. This form of poetry demurred then at the way blacks were perceived and treated. Maya Angelou is indeed one of the most notable Afro-American poets well known for her salient poems of protest. The social and political oppression of blacks as well as the lingering hegemony of men over women are the main thematic preoccupations foregrounded in her works. In this sense, she perpetually contested established social standards, protested against inequities, and unfolded her discontent with all types of discrimination and inequalities against blacks and black women as well through her metaphorical expressions and rhythmic verses. Being an African-American too greatly intensified her sensibility to blacks' common sufferings and led to a veritable representation of these issues and an ultimate descent against them in her poems. Published in Maya Angelou's collection of poems, Shaker, Why Don't You Sing, in 1983, Caged Bird was written as a response to the dehumanization of blacks culminating from the inequitable laws of the American Civil Rights Movement. It portrays the way racism became so prevalent in American society, not to mention many other forms of oppression. It is an incarnation of the black community and Angelou herself, discontent and resentment toward imposing further limitations on their freedom and human rights. Caged Bird is a genuine incarnation of African-American oppression. It can be read as an articulation of the widespread racism and segregation in American society that culminates in the imprisonment of people of color. Angelou skillfully portrays this through juxtaposing two birds, a free and a caged one. Being imprisoned, the caged bird stands for the whole black community that undergoes harsh circumstances of oppression, owing whether to slavery, race-based discrimination, or other forms of plights. The free bird, in contrast, represents the white American community that torments black people. 
Therefore, Angelo highlights the predicaments of blacks and black women in white America through the bird's extended metaphor. The cage itself personifies the past enslavement of blacks and all forms of ultimate imprisonment that had then persisted under alternative forms of cultural, political and economic restrictions. This imprisonment is then metaphorically employed to embody the physical restraints imposed on the marginalized people as well as the psychological and emotional ones. In addition to the suffering the captivity brings forth, it also engenders devastating impacts on the bird's psychology as it overwhelms it with cruelty and deprives it thus of its very self. Hence, being locked inside a prison is an embodiment of the plethora of oppression forms that coerce many types of shackles on the oppressed like those based on slavery, color, race and culture among others. This metaphor is employed to symbolize how the unjust exercise of power can be used as a tool for legitimizing total control of marginalized groups. Angelou's poem actually voices protest against injustice and oppressions. Angelou uses the caged bird's captivity and contrasts it with the free bird's sovereignty to give voice to her protest against the unjust treatment of citizens of African descent in America. This metaphor can be read as a call for equality and withstanding all forms of oppression. It also shows blacks' resentment and resilience against discrimination and condemns their perpetual racist segregation throughout history. The lack of freedom refers to the imposed shackles that imprison the mind in addition to the body. So, Angelou deliberately includes the notion of freedom as a natural drive to expostulate against the remorseless persecution of blacks. Repetition is one of the techniques used in the poem to foreground defying the prevailing social quo. Angelou actually repeats the third stanza, which centers on the song of the bird in the sixth one to display African Americans' re resilience. Accordingly, it is mentioned that the caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still and his tune is heard on the distant hell. Throughout the poem, the run online technique is also employed to emphasize the persistent challenge of existing unfair circumstances. In this way, the birds accentuate their response to what they actually experience. The free bird continues singing to assert its freedom while the caged one expresses its protest and desire for it. Besides, Angelou deliberately resorts to black African heritage and historic traditions as a powerful way that threads the path to disentangle herself and all African Americans from the moral, psychological and intellectual imprisonments. So these traditions are used as a strategy to take issue with the injustices black people are subject to. In this vein, the caged bird's song refers to black spirituals that associate singing with being upset and chained rather than joyful and satisfied. So singing in caged bird is a form of protest against the miserable circumstances in which the bird is caught. Its song is filled with trilling, shaking sounds which discloses its suffering. Angelou, as such, adopts Douglas and Dunbar's perceptions in that it epitomizes the outcry of all marginalized people and their intense agony that are concealed behind the song full of hope. In conclusion, the present contribution shows that Caged Bird is a genuine representation of black Afro-Americans' protest against the multiple injustices they endured throughout history and are still enduring. It demonstrated the way Angelou reflects such concerns through the employment of such poetic tools and techniques as extended metaphors, symbolism and repetition as well as alluding to old black spirituals and music traditions. The poem's scrutiny ultimately made clear that Angelou uses such tools to disentangle the lingering persecution of blacks that has brought about their segregation and unfair consideration of their existence as being equal to whites. 
Caged bird is then a literal representation of protest poetry and its potential to incite change and perpetuate hope. Thank you for your attention.